Trouble taking orders from a woman? Not at all. He's oddly one of the good ones. He has never questioned my authority. Your agents are not team players. They were never supposed to be. Which is fine when you need an assassin, but when you're nation rebuilding, you need to have a modicum of interpersonal skills. Are you saying they're no longer a good fit and may have trouble staying on mission? They're rogues, Cal. By your own definition, they are off mission. Do you need me to send the cleanup crew? I don't know if it has come to that yet, but we could use some additional support. Schaefer can't be everywhere at once. These agents are all over the map. D.C., New York. He goes to help one and he fails the other. We need someone who is mobile, under the radar, and can gain access and assess whether or not it is worth continuing to support Agent Lau's operation. Do you trust her, Natalia? No. But she also hasn't given me a reason not to, other than being a rogue. But I prefer to not let labels define a person's character. She will show me who she really is in time. From what I can tell, she's loyal to a fault. Dedicated. Community-minded. And selfless. Those are traits that can be wonderful, or a liability. It just depends on how fixed or malleable she is. From what I remember from her assessment, she can get fixated. And I'm fairly certain her personality assessment was lawful good. Which is appropriate for your organization. As long as she feels her work leans toward justice. We're trying to save the American dream. What could be more just than that? <laughs>